Hola a todos. Um, this is how my Spanish lab look like when you are inside. So um, please, uh, before starting starting to use the book, um, be sure to set up everything here. So um, click here, like disable pack uh, blockers, set your course time zone. Remember that it will be central time. Um, set up your e-test um, if you want. Uh, also, you can take the tour um, related to how my Spanish lab works. So, what you have set up everything in here, and um, you will see here the calendar, and there um, you will see like a clock. And it means that you have activities to complete and the due date. So if you click here, you will be able to see the activity that you have to complete, the due date, um, the time, yeah? So you will click here, you will complete the activity. Um, you have tried as many times as you consider you have to try. I recommend to enter it to five, but more than like this attempts or tries, I think that you, um, we have to communicate or contact me and uh, if you need tutoring or you don't understand something, let me know. Um, what else? So here in course materials, um, you will see that uh, the materials are divided by chapters. So we are going to start with chapter seven and you will be able to see um, chapter seven. So you will see um, testing activities that I have assigned you, um, uh, the score, the total time that you have spent working on these activities, how many times you try, and yeah, so it is a way to know about your progress uh, through the course. So you we, uh, will be able to see your grades too, and will be just um, related to um, the activities that you have complete, but the um, like the grade that you will you get um, like at your class average. So um, this is the way to know uh, your grade in my Spanish lab. Uh, remember that in my course, in the mini lessons, it will be two parts, the part A and part B. The part A of the first part will be a mini lesson or a video where I'm going to explain a topic and the part B will be activities, uh, most of them from my Spanish lab. Some of them will be activities that I will uh, provide you in order to complete, but the other ones will be activities from my Spanish lab, yeah? Something that I want that you see here, it will be um, your e-test. If you click here, you will be able to access to the book. So, for example, if we start with Unit 7, you will be able to see the book here. Um, you, you can practice, you can complete activities in here. For example, here you have to um, a, put the activities in the order that you consider um, it is like the best one. So before, during, and after um, you're planning to travel. So, comprar boletos, for example, will be antes, so you are able to complete activities in here. It's just uh, for practicing. Um, you will also be able to practice pronunciation. Uh, you will have a list of vocabulary, the vocabulary um, that you have like, to study and memorize um, for our quizzes. So, um, for example, here we are going to talk about trips um, so you can listen the words um, in order to practice pronunciation okay uh, you will also have a um, consultorio grammatical and uh, it'll be like a, an extra explanation about the topics we are going to talk um in our mini lesson so um yeah this is um more or less what you need to know about uh, my Spanish lab. So, so 
please email me if you have any other questions related to my Spanish lab. Um, so, yeah. Hasta pronto. Adiós.